Now, 1964 was a huge year for cinema. Goldfinger, Zulu, Mary Poppins all making big box office sales. It was also when Birmingham's new state-of-the-art picture house, the Queensway Scala Super Armour, officially opened. It closed in 1988 and has been locked in a time warp ever since. Now there are calls for it to be restored to its former glory. And uh, Duncan Smith, he's been finding out more. Birmingham, 1964. The new Bullring shopping centre has just opened. A new soap opera called Crossroads is on TV. But for those who wanted their entertainment on the big screen, there was a Scala Superama. Later, the Odeon Queensway. Chic, sophisticated and subterranean. It's dark, cold, a bit dank down here, but 50 years ago, people would have crowded here, bought their ice cream cone, come through here into this, the auditorium of the Scala Cinema, where over there, on the big screen, they could have seen the latest blockbusters. Hard to believe, isn't it? The last film shown here was a rerun of Return of the Jedi in 1988. And now the cinema itself awaits its own reboot. It's a celebration of the 60s. Carpeted walls, teak panels, and mock leather padded doors. I saw Shaft in 1976, I think it was, with uh, Richard Rantree starring. It was a party type atmosphere. Everybody had obviously had a good, a good, good evening and were coming here to watch the film before they went home. Hundreds of cinemas like this closed in the 1980s as home videos became more popular and single screen picture houses had to compete with the new multiplexes. It was originally let to rank cinemas back in the 60s and they stopped trading here probably 30 years ago and moved everything to the Odeon New Street and since then it's been empty. I'd like to see it back as a cinema and another tenant and uh, see people coming back in here enjoying films. No stranger to revitalising an old cinema is Tom Laws, owner of the nearby Electric Cinema. I think it's quite large and these days cinemas tend to be lots of smaller screens rather than you know one big one which was the way back way back when. For now it's hidden away on a busy Birmingham road. Unlike the real world anything is possible in the movies so who knows. The end? Perhaps there may yet be a sequel. Duncan Smith, BBC Midlands Today, Birmingham. Well, it's definitely chalk ice weather, isn't it? Let's get the details.